Construction photography is interesting because it exposes the inner structures of our infrastructure systems, such as train stations, highways, reservoirs and power plants. And by doing that, they allow us to begin to understand how these systems are connected with our daily life of the city, but also the larger landscapes. We hope that this exhibition can help us to reflect on this very important era of infrastructure development in the past, and also historically how they shape Hong Kong's urban landscapes that we want to emphasize in this exhibition. It is our goal that the exhibition can help the public to reflect on this very important era of infrastructure development in Hong Kong, and as a way to think about how to build a better future. I'm an industrial photographer. I learnt both, most of my trade in Hong Kong, a most exciting place and a wonderful place to learn of the construction industry and how successful it is here. I do find Hong Kong is remarkably well kept. It seems to be very clean compared to some other cities I've been to. And um, I like the way some of the open spaces have been developed, like, like out here, for example. Uh, normal practices for construction in those days is rather different from what it, from what it is now. As was pointed out earlier, um, health and safety has had a much bigger effect these days than it had in those days. And if you start looking around these pictures, you can see things which were in those days quite acceptable, but now would not be. I think some of those people in those photographs are still working in the industry because the industry is now, in terms of workers, very old. And so that gives us a serious problem for the future. We need to automate the process. We need more digital technology. We need actually a much smarter industry, more prefabrication, design for manufacture and assembly. So the industry has to change. It always has changed. It led the way with the Cross Arbor Tunnel, supposedly the first public-private partnership. In the modern world, it's, uh, yeah, Hong Kong has led the way. I think Hong Kong has been tremendously successful in the provision of infrastructure works and that continues today and will continue into the future. But I think it's important to remember the lessons learned along the way. We can always do things better. The areas in particular where we've learned the most is in site safety, um, in terms of you know, improving the standard of the uh, engineering and the quality of the products for the end user. This is a kind of a archaeological dig back into the past to see what lies under some of these mega bits of infrastructure that make up our city. It's called an infrastructure imagination. The public coming here are really being invited to both imagine what was there before, but also what might have been there if something different was built, how their city might have changed, and possibly also to imagine what infrastructure is needed for the, uh, the city of the future. So really, really good stuff. The exhibition clearly captured and it actually shows how Hong Kong people had uh, overcome a lot of the uh, problems, obstacles and uh, uh, issues in those days and that actually built the firm foundation for Hong Kong to move uh, forward into the 21st century. These pictures are are really historical ones and uh, we cannot find it easily elsewhere in Hong Kong now. CLP Power Edge is very honoured to be part of this project and uh, just now I saw some very beautiful photos uh, produced by uh, Mrs. Coulson. Castle Peak Power Station uh, has been playing a very important role in helping Hong Kong you know, the economy development and I hope that you know, uh, CLP will continue to support Hong Kong and produce more cleaner future for Hong Kong. Congratulations to the photo exhibition. It uh, provides a lot of great photos for the infrastructure development in the 1970s and 1980s. With this infrastructure, it turned Hong Kong into a world-class city. I came actually to bring my students to both the symposium, the exhibition, as well as the community workshop. I wanted them to think more about active form rather than single individual forms, building form, right? I wanted them to think about the form that informs architectural form, being the hidden form of infrastructure. We have to like 
listen to different stakeholders. And um, often we hear about new infrastructure, we hear about different voices in society, how uh, infrastructure affects their lives, the benefits and also the drawbacks of infrastructure. I think as a student, this exhibition you know, provides us the opportunity also with the workshop. It provides us the opportunity for us to incorporate you know, different views in the community. Yeah, so it is a very good way. City could be seen as products of processes, but to me, it's more about the manifestations of values in particular time and context. And actually, it's my pleasure to be here to speak with uh, multi-generational and uh, interracial uh, participants about their views on the infrastructure future as well as the idea of city and as well as how can we as humans and as citizens contribute to the betterment of cities. Because I believe that eventually when we are as planning professionals and as uh, citizens, we would like to contribute to the good life and the betterment of cities. From the feedback we heard from the uh, stakeholders, uh, it confirms my belief that uh, Hong Kong community is still keen about infrastructure development. Only that they, are, they have high expectations now. Uh, not only are they looking for uh, convenience, efficiency, comfort, and economic development, but they want to balance that or be able to balance that against things like environmental protection, conservation, cultural development, and community development. Heather Coulson's photographs also have very important historical value for Hong Kong. Not only do they provide an important set of documentation of our mega projects, they also convey a kind of utopian undertone. At a time when the arrival of new infrastructure systems brought about new historical experiences and new aspirations for its citizens.